we installed Monaco as our coding font here on Windows 7. Now we need to configure WebStorm to use that font. And to do that, we'll come to the File option here on the menu and come down to Settings and click. When the Settings dialog box opens, you need to find Editor, Colors and Fonts, and Font. Now, if yours doesn't open there automatically like mine just did, then you'll just need to navigate up and down through the navigation pane here in order to find it. So, Editor, Colors and Fonts, and then the Font menu. Now, it's showing us right now mono spaced as primary font. And this is not good enough, not even close. And the reason is, notice this zero right here. That zero is just a plain O zero. In fact, it's hard to tell whether it's a zero or a capital O. So here's your capital O. So what we want to do is we want to change the default font. But notice we cannot select it. We can't uncheck this box. We can't change the font or anything. And the reason is, is that these are the settings for default. And default shows here in the scheme. So we'll select the down arrow and we'll decide which scheme that we want to use. Now right now I'm showing only the default, but you could select any of these other color themes and it would be exactly the same. So we're going to select the scheme that we want and then save as. And it's going to give us an option here to change the name. And we could just, I'm just going to leave it default and then put my name there. Click OK. And now notice whenever we saved it as our own selected theme, now the system allows us to configure the font that we want to use. We can come over to show only monospace fonts and we can uncheck that box. But let me show you why you will need to do that. First, if I select the down arrow here, WebStorm is going to read all of the fonts on my computer. And it may take a while, but notice that Monaco is not one of the listed monospaced fonts. So what we want to do is come over and uncheck this box and then come back to primary font and there we'll find Monaco. Now in the preview window we can see what the font is going to look like when we actually start writing code in the editor. So what we'll do here I'm going to increase the font from 12 to 14 because I like to see it just a little bit larger. And I also like to have a little bit more space between the lines to make it easier to read. And of course, the size of the font, line spacing, these are all up to you. But notice the difference here now. Now I have a slashed zero. And I will never confuse that with just a plain O capital O. And so using Monaco is a great way to have disambiguation between the fonts and some of the other characters. So we've selected Monaco as our font. We'll click Apply, and then we'll click OK. We're back to our editing window, and we're ready to go to work.